Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Now, might be a conflict of interest here, Rogan, but yeah. my man James English to your right is fighting you, Rogan O'Connor. I'm not being set up. Yeah, you're not set up. Listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a professional, mate. I'm a professional. So, yeah, keep it important. Listen, Let's go. I said to both of you before the, the way and stuff like that, what you used to have done to sell this fight on your social medias and stuff like that, but you have both been bumped up to the co main event. I'll start with you, Rogan. Yeah. Co main event in a boxing show against James English, man. How are you feeling just now? Oh, I'm fucking excited to be honest with you. If someone had said a couple of months ago, well, before I agreed to this fight, that Michael Buffer was going to introduce mm, the fight, I, I, was like, I would tell him to, they would absolutely do, Lally. Um, but here we are. And credit to James, credit where credit's due. We've had a, a constant battle going forth. Call it banter, call it whatever you want, but we're going to war mm -hmm. tomorrow night to get uh, against each other. And. You know, it's, 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 it's civil, there's tension, mm -hmm. there's tension, I feel like it's going to hit me any minute, <laughs> but, um, but it's civil and we, we've earned this, this co-main event. There's some great lads, some great fighters and some great personalities, but me and James are head and shoulders above them, I think, in the build-up to this fight and we deserve where we are, which is the co-main event introduced by Michael Buffer tomorrow night. Well done guys, James, I'll ask you the same question yeah. then, I mean, you know, I mean, I've spent the last 10 weeks here and stuff like that, apart from times when I've been sunk up in Miami, but that's my job. Um, <laughs> Aye, so how are you feeling? I mean, I know the type of, you're a showman, you like, you, you promote your brand and stuff like Michael Buffer just introduced your name, like uh, Rogan said there, man. How are you feeling about coming event? Yeah, that's so real. Like, it's fucking unbelievable. Like, Michael Buffer's an all-time great. The, the people he's called into the ring, and then he's called me and um, Rogan out. It's, it's, it's an unbelievable achievement, and it shows you how far. It's the highlight of my yeah, Buffer's career. Yeah, yeah. 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 Buffer's career. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but no, I'm buzzing for it, man. And, like I say, it's a fight at the end of the day as well, and the twos will put they've put everything into it to have a laugh. Yes, it may become a, a bit cringy to people, but I still try to promote a fight, and it's business at the end of the day. And I've always says it: this is here to promote a brand, promote my name, make some money, feed the family, and then move on to the next. Oh, you'll feed your family well, James. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> um, you mentioned I know it's civil just now. There's yeah. been banter. There hasn't been like hatred banter in terms of I'm gonna knock you out, your prick, and stuff like that. There has been fun banter, but. When that bell goes for that first round tomorrow, I mean, we've talked tactics and uh, Rogan's coaches are behind me right now, probably want to stab me in the back with a button. But, uh, but uh, this is going to. Yeah, the Cray twins, I. <laughs> Sorry, me and his brother in law are Mitchell brothers, so we'll, we'll go at it. Um, listen, it's going to be a fight, like you say, and we're, we're going to expect a fight. We're not going to go in there and touch gloves and tickle each other. We're going to go in there and fight, aren't we, Rogan? Yeah, mate. There's a lot of. Um Hate to talk about the other fighters because they are what they are, but there's their friends. Like at the mm. end of the day, I'm sure me and James will be one day, yeah. but right now we're not. And uh, there's a lot of people like, oh yeah, let's let's go in there. We'll have a little spa together, whatever. Make some money. No, fuck that. Me and well, I can't speak for James, but I'm a fucking winner. Mm. Everything I've ever done, I've excelled in. Every sport I've ever done, every TV show I've done, I've won. There's, there's I win. That's what I do. Uh, I'm sure James feels the same. So let's just see. May the best man win. James, he's a winner. Yeah, not tomorrow, he, but it's going to be not tomorrow. It's going to be, but. I understand where he's coming from, I'm the exact same. This is why I think we're co main event because they know we're going to put everything on the line. It's no bullshit. We all shake hands, like I've stated in many interviews. There's no bad blood here, but it's still but a fucking fight. Yeah, but still a fight. No bad yeah. blood. Yeah, so <laughs> there's, my, there's my title yeah. right there. But there's no bad blood, but there will be blood. Love it. It's still a fight. <laughs> like, we're not professional boxers. We're getting paid to train, get and have a fight, and that's it. Look, I'm, I'm here to win. I will win, but it's here. The last nine, ten weeks has been unbelievable. Newfound respect for boxers. Every man thinks they can fight, but to go in under those ropes and have a tear up, especially sparring, you find out who the fuck you truly are. Some people have already pulled out, mm -hmm. which was expected, I believe. We've always stood still. Like, I never knew. I always knew that Rogan would never pull out. He loves this shit. He's a like never pull out. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. I know you're a showman. Yeah. But Rogan's probably a bigger I'm wearing a thumb right now. He's wearing a thumb right now. Look at that. I don't know if you can. Nah, I won't do it. Nah. Yeah, this is for the ladies. <laughs> yeah, a bit of pubes as well. For there dads. you go. Now you shave. You're clean cut, man. There's no danger. There's pubes in there. <laughs> yeah, but listen. James, you, you've talked a good game as well and stuff like that. We, we, we've spoke, we've spoke. Me and you, as I, as I have trained you, like I said. But can you go in there and knock this man out? Yes. You knock this man out? No, oh, yeah. Kill or be killed. Let's go. That, that's what I like to see. But like I say, what's next for you? I know you, you. I think Oscar, young Oscar, came and done this an interview with last Love time. Oscar, yeah. great guy. Better than me? No. The good. That's the, that's what I want to hear. I'm stupid. But listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's next for you? Would you continue to box? Do you enjoy it? Do you, I mean, the training is different from what you normally train because you are a bodybuilder. You do do Mate, the modeling. Yeah, and that. I uh, t twelve week no ten weeks ago. Yeah, mm. when I signed on the dotted line, hundred and one kg, looked like I was carrying invisible carpets. Yeah, 
I weighed in just now at 88 or just under 13 kg in 10 weeks mm. and I look I feel amazing better than I did when I was in the gym slugging weights whatever so now yeah mind body soul everything I just feel fantastic I owe a lot to my coaches they've been fucking you know amazing give me a plug there there yeah. IFL TV there's the boys right there I owe everything to them they convinced me to do the fight I wasn't sure about it and then when I'm in I'm all in like James said the other day when, when we're in we're all in we've both dedicated our lives to it and so if it goes well which I'm sure it will then yeah we'll see what, what, what the check's like for the next box start or any other company that want to hit me up <laughs> but um, the first thing is me and my missus are going on holiday all in close okay, I see that I yeah, yeah, I'm so one. excited to get back on the beers and just fucking pig out because yeah like I said 13 kg in 10 weeks is yeah I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to enjoying myself but first got a war to go for next week next week yeah, James tomorrow. you've got <laughs> next tomorrow week. next week I, um, we've spoke as well like I said to you man you, you love this game now don't you like you've yeah. you've got that fighting Scotsman in you like like we all do just putting no, that out there hurt, mate I know no, I've got I've got a lot of things on my side like size power youth experience whatever but James is from Glasgow so mm. that's just the murder capital of Europe <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, that's all people need to say. I said it to my mate the other day, and he, he was uh, who I was fighting. He goes from from Glasgow, and he went, yeah, you'll, you'll lose then. <laughs> yeah, charming. There so go. yeah. But what is nice for you, the man? You've got the you've got the bit between your teeth yeah. now. You're you're hungry for this. Say eh? you want a fight now. You've yeah. got newfound respect for fighters and stuff like you know what they go through the way. And we try to do a little bit of a waterload mm -hmm. weight cut and stuff like. We've done the eighty six from your way up at ninety odd. So you've, you've done well on that terms, but for you, now you've got that respect, you've found that determination, you want to fight again, don't you? Yeah, it's Win, a lose challenge, a mate. It's, uh, you're outside your comfort zone. These are just challenges for me. Every challenge I take on, I take over. Like, I know this kind, these kind of events get a bad rep, but listen, people, I, I've interviewed a lot of boxers and I can understand we're getting paid and more than some fucking professional boxers who fight for British or Commonwealth mm. titles. I can understand why they're pissed off, but... Yeah. Opinions don't mean fuck all. We've got families to feed, we've got girlfriends to take on holiday, we've got forms to buy. Like, it's, <laughs> we, at the end of the day, you've got to give the credit for people that's doing this event. Everyone, massive respect to putting it all on the line because your pride's on, on the fucking yeah. line as well. Like, the videos, the memes, if you get fucking sparked out, like, it's mm. a lot of shit. But I know me, I know I'll have another two, three fights after this. I'll make money from this and then I'll kick on and move on to another chapter. It's as simple as that. So bring it on, man. Yeah, I'm buzzing. But I know that my food's probably here, so I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah. Rogan, one final word to James, and then James, one final word to Rogan. <sighs> let's go, and that's two words, but that's, let's just fucking, that's a few words now. <laughs> 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 one word is yeah. this difficult, war, yeah. violence. Yeah, that's good, Again, uh, uh, war and violence, the fans yeah. are going to love it. James, one final yeah, word no, to I'll Rogan. Just say good luck, man, good luck, brother. Man, the best, and, man, uh, the best man won, yeah. You know what, let's go to coaches. Who's going to win? Oh, ah, man. Ah, man. James. Listen, good guys, good luck tomorrow night. Yeah, thank Obviously, you. I'll be in the opposite corner, Rogan, but good luck. Thank and you, uh, you too. Listen, let's go get some food. Cheers, thank Cheers you. guys. Cheers, mate.